Welcome back everybody. The Halloween merchandise is finally starting to hit the stores this season and we're going to take a look today at Home Goods. Before we do that, I want to give a special shout out to the patrons that help support the channel. If you're interested in helping support this channel, check out the link in the description below. All right, let's go ahead and head right in and see what we can find. The first thing that we see is this table that is absolutely jam-packed with fun Halloween merchandise. Now that's one of the things that I love and hate about Home Goods is they've got a lot of merchandise, but they cram it in these wonderful displays that look great from afar. But if you're trying to really, you know, take in everything on the table, you're bound to miss several things. So be sure to rewind this video, take a look a few times, see if there's something that you like. And even if there isn't something that you like in this video, I'm going to be doing a few visits to Home Goods because they do churn the merchandise and you're going to see different things come through throughout the season. But you do have to look closely as you are looking at the products. For instance, look at this interesting uh, pumpkin here. It's missing a battery cover. It doesn't have a price on it. I suspect that this might be something left over from last year. That might be what's filling out the shelves. I don't know. I don't seem to remember them having this much stuff out last year, so maybe a lot of this stuff um, was a holdover. I know we had supply chain issues last year that kind of held a lot of the stores up, which was very disappointing, but maybe we're going to have fantastic stuff available in all the stores this year. Stay tuned as we walk through them and, and find out for ourselves. Now, I don't tend to like a whole lot of the stuff on display here simply because it's not stuff I would typically decorate with. However, I really like this $25 wreath with the skull in it. That is pretty awesome. I have bought wreaths for other seasons at Home Goods. I think they excel, certainly, with the wreaths. Um, but most of the stuff you're going to find here are little tchotchke things, little decorative witches and whatnot that I just don't really decorate with. It's cute, it's fun, but um, like if you're trying to really put on a display, it, you're not gonna find it with some of this stuff. In the past, they used to have lots of really neat things like, like character busts. I got my Dedgar Allan Poe that I looked for months for at a Home Goods, and I absolutely love it. Used it in my displays every year. So when the sort of uh, more decor type thing, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously we're looking at decor, but you know, it's not, I don't know, immersive to me. To me, these are things that we're gonna look at but it's not really part of the display. Um, unless you have a big collection of garden gnomes everywhere, these guys would certainly fit right in. And look at this, we have Dracula. I'm doing a vampire theme this year. That tag says, happy haunting. This might be something I need, even though I can't really, like I said, it, it wouldn't fit anywhere in my display. Um, very few things here would, but these candles might. You can't go wrong with candles, putting them all around. All right, what have we got back here? It looks like some signage. Hey, boo. Um, they do have a lot of signs here as well, which is great. Some of them have really good artwork, but I think for the most part, these companies just kind of like to churn them out. Um, and, and I don't mind an occasional sign here or there, but it just seems like the companies could be a little bit more creative um, with some of their merchandise. In fact, like a lot of these ghosts that we're looking at, I saw last year for sure. We also saw a lot of the um, sort of those ceramic Christmas, light up Christmas trees that are kind of vintagey. Well, at least this one's a little bit different. You had that jack lantern at the top. And what is this? A floor puzzle. You know, I'm a little disappointed. This only has 36 pieces. I would honestly consider putting together a Halloween puzzle if they made an adult version of that. Look at all this green colored merchandise. I guess it kind of goes with that Frankenstein back there. But honestly, some of it feels a little bit more St. Patrick's Day to me. It doesn't, it doesn't scream Halloween green to me. I think the Halloween green is a bit more acidic. It does kind of go with that Christmas tree again, but you know, it's not Christmas. It's Halloween. It needs to be skulls like this, you know, that something that screams Halloween. And I do actually like um, that that is a platter. I could find a use for that. I think you typically can find some good party uh, presentation, food presentation things here at the home goods as well. 
Oh, look at the little frog. And another gnome, he's made of wood. I, I actually use those sort of box books as well in a lot of my displays. Typically, if I have some other little prop, I'll sit it on some books. It just gives it a little more height and drama and presence. All right, what else have we got here? Lots of little, is that a, a is that a cat or a mouse gnome? Oh, well, there's some more mice. Must have been a mouse. Some more puzzles in the back. Some glassware. A trick-or-treat banner. And, oh, there's a dog. Very cute. Unlike the gnomes. All right, this kind of looks a little Day of the Dead with the sugar skulls there. And here we have some skeleton... Um, a skeleton Elvis, of course. I mean, who wouldn't want that in their display? Um, are these pirates? I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at there. Nice little trick-or-treat pillow in the background. I can't tell if they're, all of this stuff is supposed to be Day of the Dead, or they're just mixing some Day of the Deads in there. Um, some candles, and interesting, I guess that's, is that a cup? Oh, I'm not sure what that was. And there's, as I was saying, I don't know what that is. Some big bowl, perfect for your Halloween party. All right, you got some candle holders. I think these are candle holders, those big ghost things. If you have a clue what that is, fill me in. Some pillows on the bottom. Another table just full of jumbled stuff. Let's just take a quick peek around. I like that little candle. They do have so many different candles here at the Home Goods. They have all sorts of designs. Whatever theme you're going with, I'm sure you could find something that could fit in. And who doesn't want a candle burning in their Halloween party? Especially with all the, the flammable decorations around. In the back there, I see a spider pillow that's pretty glittery. I actually like that one. I decorate with spiders a lot because I think spiders are a universal fear of people. Um, all right, more pillows, more uh, plushy things. But look at this. Okay. So we have a velvety pumpkin with cat ears. I'm assuming those are cat ears. Boo. Um, oh, and if we look closer down below, okay, who needs this? Hocus Pocus need Wi-Fi to focus. A little place where you can write your Wi-Fi password. I guess that might be good for a party. I don't give my Wi-Fi to uh, my party goers. Does anybody do that? <laughs> that seems a little strange to me. Some more interesting looking pumpkins. Now we've got some more Christmas trees. These are more candy corn colored. I think we're going to start seeing those Christmas trees everywhere now, every year. But look at these guys with the ugly faces. You see those sort of things in Grandin Road, a lot bigger, um, but you don't typically see them because I have to wonder how much they sell. It does seem like Home Goods has a, a lock on the ugly pumpkins this year, if you saw those just now, but... We skimmed past them to look at all this fun merchandise, some potion bottles and such. Oh, look, there's a purple and black Christmas tree. They have all sorts of colors here. And there's a giant skull with some crystals coming out of it. It's a little bit of nightmare before Christmas decor as well mixed in. I love these little village buildings that are all decked out in Halloween. Clearly, they're not like the Michaels level Lemax village or whatever but I always think they're pretty fascinating regardless. I, I Honestly, I do kind of love the sparkly pumpkin. Might have to pick up some of those. In a stark contrast to this sort of plain wooden, simple Halloween decor over here, not sure what's going on with that hand whites holding a crystal ball kind of sideways. Uh, you usually see them holding that ball straight up, so that's kind of interesting. But down here, there's another village piece. And... A lot of crystal balls and fortune teller decor here. They do have an aisle full of costumes. I don't remember this last year, if they had it or not, but maybe that's something new they're doing this year. They do have some general fall and pumpkin merchandise. Love the stacked gourds. Um, need some of those for my house. But if you need any sort of pumpkin, uh, just general pumpkin decor. They've got all sorts of colors here going on. Love this little truck with the pumpkins in the back. Very country. They've got a whole, of course, section of more country decor as well. Um, but we can't overlook the pillows. These are some more 
pumpkin pillows, but look at this aisle. This is insane. They have an entire aisle full of Halloween pillows of all designs. I am very surprised. I don't remember seeing this many last year, if they had it. Um, it's just amazing. Whatever you're looking for, you're going to find it here for sure. Wow. All right, what else? Have's, they've got simple pumpkins. They've got out of candy uh, pillows, ghosts. What is this guy over here? Just more pumpkins. Perfect for your fall decorating. We can start putting those out now. Leave them up for months. Love that little sparkly skull too. Wow. We're, we're in another aisle. Can you believe it? More pillows. And below that, we've got throws. Um, wow. These, now I'm not a huge fan of these just because I don't like the patterns that just kind of like, it seems like they just throw up Halloween on a blanket. I would like something that had a little bit more, I don't know, class to these perhaps. And look at this. You can't even get through the checkout line without more Halloween pillows. But that will do it for this shopping trip at Home Goods. Like I said, we will be making another visit here at least once more um, before Halloween to see the new merchandise that I expect they'll have soon. So stay tuned for that, as well as more DIYs, product reviews, and store walkthroughs. Till then, happy haunting.